young man called News Channel 9 claiming police were outside his home and trying to kill him after he posted a threatening message on Facebook. That man, Joseph Wilmarth, now charged with making a terroristic threat after a nearly four-hour standoff. News Channel 9's Sidney Shalafo is outside the Wilmarth's home with more on what happened. State police, a SWAT team, almost half a dozen agencies responding to this home on Fuller Road after a threatening Facebook post and an anonymous 911 call, a standoff following. The troopers did attempt to engage the male in a conversation. He became distraught and he retreated to a garage uh, next to his residence uh, with a weapon. It was a dangerous situation for police, but diffusing it was what they were there to do. When emotions are involved, people sometimes make rational and sometimes irrational decisions. And our job is to keep them calm, and as long as we're engaging in a conversation with them, that's always a good thing. Thankfully, that conversation continued. Wilmarth ultimately surrendering his weapon thanks to the trained negotiators of the New York State Police. They're professionals, and they're very good at what they do, and they care, and uh, their professional training paid off today. That was a good thing for everyone, including Joseph Wilmarth's father, Charles, who says the whole situation, the Facebook posts and standoff, stemming from a child custody case. Nobody abuses that kid when the kid's here. We love that baby. And that's what this is all about. Troopers say Wilmarth eventually came out of the house peacefully. He's now in the custody of the Wayne County Sheriff's Department. But troopers saying really the important thing here is that nobody was hurt. In Port Byron, Sydney Shalafo, News Channel 9. Again, Wilmarth is charged with making a terroristic threat. He's in Wayne County Jail and set to be back in court on August the 8th.